y'all welcome back to another video and today we're up to some scary tiktoks because why not you know if y'all haven't already make sure to like and subscribe and let me know down below what you guys want to see next so if y'all haven't already give a snack because this is going to be something interesting so let's get right on into it terrifying things caught at hospitals two friends were exploring an abandoned hospital when suddenly that's it he was in the hospital and abandoned these students were recording a short film inside a mental hospital when they noticed something strange. I'm mental. This mostly empty looking hospital in Honduras seems innocuous, but... Oh no, thank you. Are you listening? I am... Oh. I've known these are copyrighted. Ooh, a train. This guy can't even look me in the eye right now. That's also like that time. You think he's too afraid to talk? Oh, bro. Um, I don't know. He's a little out. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. Stay silent, coward. Okay, let's go back to our I hate my blood They're so stupid. Hold on. I want to check something. You're so stupid. I hate them. They're so annoying. Okay, so I'm going to check outside again. Honestly, I hate Chester and Parker, they're so annoying. But, just me. Mm. Is it your mom outside? I guess she's gone. There's this video where there was this guy in the hotel room and people are calling the, the desk like, hey, there's my room, there's someone screaming in the room like loud as fuck, like they're being murdered or something. And the guy goes in there and he, when he gets there, he, he hears the screaming from the door. He's like, oh yeah, there's someone definitely in here screaming, like call the cops. And he was like, check what's going on. He's like, I'm gonna check. And as he goes in there, the whole room is like flipped upside down. The carpet's torn up, the shower is on and he leaves. He like, he like walks out of there quick. He's scared as fuck. Like you can hear the screaming. It sounds like it sounds like getting like murdered in there. Nobody's in there. Fake. 
I love shopping the real real. It's yeah. Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Prada, Prada. Yeah. your Rolex, Burberry. Took me out of YouTube. Creepy Dora the Explorer one, Clone Guide. Let's go. Let's put in episode one. Oh. Oh, it's tickling my ARG vibe right now. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. And I love apples. Do you like apples? No. I do. Oh, what is this? Whoa. Three letters. I guess yes. I'm allergic to apples. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. It, it utilizes typing. But we don't even know where the store is. That's right Do there, you idiot. know where the store is? Yeah, it's behind you, dumbass. It's right over here. Can Wait, I choose? Really? What if I choose wrongly? Do you know where the store is? Your mom. Do you know where the Oops. store is? I knew it! Can I click on something else? Uh, Really All right, it's it's it's, it's all, it want me to click the one this one. Yeah, that's right. Let's go. We're at the store. It sure looks crowded. Bah. And look, there are apples. Can you say apple? A. Can you say apple? Uh. Apple. Wait. A P P L E. A P P L E. G R A P. Grape is also five word. Let's try putting grape. Oh, what's gonna happen? She's getting angry. Oh, it's forcing me to put, to type in apple. I'm I'm typing I'm I'm typing randomly right now, and it's forcing me to type in a apple. Good job! Now we can apple. make apple pie. Okay, okay, interesting. Okay, what's that? Oh, okay, I'm loving this. I'm loving this already. Okay, what's gonna happen in chapter two? Let's go. We don't have much time. Whatever you do, don't. Hi everyone, I'm Amanda. And I'm Willie. Today. He doesn't seem to uh, excited. Oh my God, yeah. Make sure you like subscribe. Harriet, can you tell us where the butcher is? Damn. What's Where's down there? Is that is that a pile of? That could either be Damn, trash or a pile of body. I think it's trash. Uh, ice cream parlor. Oh, butcher. she's getting angry. The butcher? Oh, he's oh, okay, okay. She's gonna butcher the lamb. There it is. Let's go. Hello, me man. Wow, this is creepy. Can you tell me what we need? Like, what we need? Like uh, minutes. meat. I'm assuming it wants me to type meat. But Beats. I'm. I wonder what else that is four-letter word. Um, Beats. B e a t. Meat. It rhymes with meat. Meat. I couldn't think of any. I'm just gonna put in random stuff. A uh, fire. Can you tell the meat man what we need? No. Hell. Tell him what we need. Okay. Uh, okay. She's angry. All right. Yep. All right. Meat. That's right. Oh God, where are you going like that? Let's see. Oh, He's this is so sheep. weird. He's killing the sheep, y'all. Oh wait, why am I actually like, intrigued in this game now? <laughs> I like want to play it. Um. Why is she looking at Wooly? Oh, I knew it. Oh. Don't tell me she's gonna. Don't tell me what's gonna happen in the third episode. It. We're not gonna see Wooly anymore, right? I called it you guys. She's gonna eat the wolf, the wolf sheep. Oh. Yeah, we don't see Wooly anymore. It's He's dark gone. out. Let's go home. What is face. this? Wait. Is that a pile of rock or a pile of meat? What else can I, uh... A hole. Point to the house! Point the house. Knock on the door! Are you creeping me up, bro? I don't like this! 
I don't freaking like this. What is the window? She's cooking. What? Go inside. What's wrong? This is creepy, bro. I'm getting goosebumps right now. Let me in. I don't want you in. Get out of my house. Imagine this girl is in front of your house. That is so good. Let me try again one more time. Okay, I cannot. Oh my god. Do not go to fabletters.com. Do not take our historically low it. offer. Two for 24 shorts, one. They want me to sign up for VIP for that, and I have low tech stuff. I have to sign up for VIP and pay like 40 bucks. No thanks. Wait, what's my volume at? Wait, where's my volume? Where's the volume? Do you not have volume? He's got no volume. Or oh, what? Excuse me, where's the volume? Y'all, I don't hear nothing. Where's the volume? She didn't look like most ghosts I would see. She had purple hair that was always in twin braids. She wore a black dress that went down to her ankles and her eyes and mouth were completely blacked out. And you couldn't see her tongue or teeth, just darkness and palish skin. But I was never scared of her. She protected me and my sister from a dark figure that lived in our house with us. The figure was constantly trying to kill us and drag us down to hell. But it obviously feared her, so it left us alone. But Dorothy also made people believe that I was psychotic because she would ask me to kill my classmates and random people on the streets. She also gave me really, really detailed ways of how to dispose of the corpse, like drowning it in acid until it became ashes and put the ashes in a tea pitcher inside the fridge so my family would drink it. But I never ended up killing anyone, even though I hurt them and drew plans to murdering them in my drawing books. Everyone at school feared me, but I never understood why, until I got a bit older and realized how terrifying it had to be for them to sit in a room with another child trying to plan out their death. But for the most part, Dorothy was nice. She helped me laugh when I cried, and even played with me when my sister didn't feel like it. But each night, she brought me out of the house, and we walked down to a pond down the street from my house, and she would sink, telling me, Don't worry, dear child. I will be back in the morning, but I have to go home now. But only when she said that, she sounded like an adult. But any other time of the day, she sounded like a child. My mom used to believe she was an imaginary friend of mine. But I went under the bed and in the closet with her, and even creepier, I would sit in the corner of my parents' room and watch them sleep. Dorothy also taught me how to work guns when I was five, but my parents never found out. My sister didn't know who Dorothy was for a while. But she found out when Dorothy took form of a laundry basket in her room one day and started laughing, which had my sister frozen in fear until I said, Hi, Dorothy, which scared her even more, but she started to ease up when Dorothy started talking. It's fine. I'm Sabrina's friend, and I want to be your friend, too, in a sweet child's tone. My sister ended up being friends with her, too, in the end, but one day, I never got to see her again. It was the normal night for me. Walked down to the pond with Dorothy so she can go home, but this time she was crying out this black liquid, and it looked almost like her eyes were melting, and she seemed hesitant to go back, but also scared at the same time. I asked her why she was crying, but she gave no response. So when we got down there for her to go home for the very last time, she said something different. She hugged me and began to sink like every day, but she said this, Bye, my sweet child. I'm sorry, but I won't be able to see you for a while. But I will be back one day. Then she broke out in maniacal laughter and tears. But when her chin touched the water, the laughing stopped, and her face started to flake and break like porcelain. And she started screaming, and she told me to run. So I did, and I never saw Dorothy again. But I always felt bad about it, because I felt like it was a child that drowned that night, but she wasn't a child. She just took form of one. I don't know when she will come back, but it's been a few years, and I've had that question running through my head for a while now.
What's the creepiest, obsessive thing you have done? Every time I had a crush on a boy, we would have the happiest Sims life together in a beautiful house with adorable okay. kids. This thing's what? Whoa. Moss baited to every single girl in my junior year yearbook. I started off by opening a page looking at that page and deciding who the hottest girl on that page was and then imagining a signal encounter with them. This went on for a few weeks until I had already done all the pages. At this point I knew that I needed something more. So I started at the beginning of my yearbook, the freshman, and worked my way all the way over to seniors. Okay, y'all, this is the end. I am done. Bye, y'all.